final berth in that tournament. But since then, her form has been a bit patchy, and as you can see from the head-to-head -head form. Yeah, I'm doing well, thank you. Thanks very much for having me. So, Chris, uh, looking at these two players, what's your take on them so far? The 2017 China Open, that was the last year of Super Series action before it became, as you pointed out, Chris, Gao Feng Ji, even though she's six, still very handy player. Really, really nice. Um, yeah, I think it's not going to be too fast. There is going to be a slight drift just because it's a it's a reasonable size arena. Um, but yeah, look. Oh, great shot. But again, there's that. You know, we've we've seen it, and I said we'll be watching Michelle Lee and PV Sindhu as well, who are two great examples of how long it takes to come back to any kind of form they neither of them have yet but pv sindhu especially well it took all get yeah, though the, the wins or kind of the match practice and matches in training are totally different to a tournament absolutely you know, yeah it's not even really comparable oh, that's a great little cross from yamaguchi and she Wow. She's having to replace, whereas some other players that yeah. have played, you know, 20 tournaments, which actually isn't a lot. Six. You got some. Well, the women's singles discipline is definitely one of the most competitive of all the five when you look at the players in it. So far, of course, this is They're actually very close in terms of age. But the other thing that might differentiate these two players is unforced errors. He's <laughs> women's singles player. And that's, I think, just a, a wonderful kind of motivating force to have it. So 9-5 here for Yamaguchi as we approach the first mid-game interval. And so far she's been slowly building on this lead. It was two points, now it's four. Incredible touch. Oh, It's safe to say that every player that comes up against the big five women singles are going to want to play their absolute best. Incredible, incredible accuracy. And this is the big thing with the attack. Yes, you do need power, but the accuracy is the key. Wow, this Lack of confidence, just because when you're consistently winning, you become more and more confident. And obviously, this year she hasn't had the start that you would expect yeah. from a player of her level, just because she'd been out with injuries. And this is where you get a bit more tense, you get a bit more nervous. Yeah, you completely see that kind of rolling off the memories of being on the top step of the podium. Nice, nice touch there by Gao. Oh. Take there, Gao, as to how to play that shot. She's left that one wide. 18-15. Very high line being played by Gao. Lacking that patience that she needs against the player of the caliber of Yamaguchi. So that silver. can be happy with. Straight onto that, Gao. That's going to be too high. Well, this is as crucial a serve as it gets for Gao. 
And Game. with that... That was oh, not a great shot by Gal. Steep angle on that. selection from Gao. Winning is a different is a different kind of mindset. When you're in match, it's about unleashing is essentially those skills. And this is the thing. So in training, yes, you want to be tested slightly. And what I mean by that is the, the player needs to understand Even if the coach is giving tactics in a way they can't understand or they don't feel comfortable so with. For me, then the coach is not doing the 11, right thing because the integral 13. thing is obviously the performance. So 11-13, and it's another great opportunity. Of course, being one game down, these opportunities are becoming a little bit more tense for Gao Feng Ji now, and she has to make one of them count. Just that one chance, slowly cutting into that. And then before you know it, it's 14-11. As I said, she's closing in on that 17th point. A reason so ideally for Gao, if she can hold Yamaguchi. You know? Early, and then the execution was absolutely phenomenal. And I think, you know, she's done so well to pull it back. She had quite a poor start, five love down in the second game. Gao's kind of bleeding point. She's making a few more unforced there as simpler mistakes. Great shot there from Yamik. So 12-18. Gao with the high lift serve. Which at least means that she's not going to be under any net attack, but the stinging return Sorry, from Yamaguchi silver. again. It doesn't block and, you know, reads it perfect. Yeah, if this service goes well, then she is well on her way, and that 20. should be eight match points in the form that she's in. I'm saying she's going to need maximum two. She does have, she needs one. What a return. Brilliant shot to finish the match with.